I feel like I'm gonna regret this. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jet. We're here back on some Modern Warfare 2019. Why? I don't know. I felt like it. I reinstalled 120 gigs to go and make this one video, likely uninstall, and then just play Battlefield and then MW2. I went and downloaded this. 120 gigs for this one video. And what do I want to do in this video? Honestly, I, I don't know. I just... Why not? I figured I would just sit there, just pop in the shipment or something like that, and just uh, see how the game is doing. See if there's uh, any weird stuff going on, because I've seen some crazy videos out there. It's been like three, four years years with this game usually at this point the game stop getting support whatsoever they end up being completely broken and destroyed by the hacking and mod menus like they remove shipment are you guys dumb variations of objective modes domination hardpoint and headquarters where kills add to your score i don't like that so usually people go and play objective modes because they last longer than team deathmatch that's the main reason why you play the objective modes you can control whether or not the game stretches or not so if for example we're winning in domination we're dominating we're destroying them and we've had them held on one flag the entire time eventually once you get close to actually winning the game and realize that it's a wash you let them take that b flag back so you can extend you get to the point to where mathematically they would have to throw recap you or something in order for them to get the lead and then you just let them have the two flags to extend it why would i want to play a mode where me getting kills is going to end the game faster i don't care about the end result it's about how many kills i have in the end so it looks like they remove shipment 24 7 don't know why that's kind of crazy it should just be there permanently especially when it's a game that's like not updated anymore whatsoever it should just have shipment 24 7 uh, by default it had me on hardcore hard point but i highly doubt anyone's even playing this i don't even know what game mode to go into to be honest with you i mean i guess i can do that what objective mode sure i don't know what the most populated mode would be oh yeah they have all these double xp tokens on here that uh, you couldn't use on mw2 and they're just gonna sit here forever forever as in until they inevitably just shut the servers down or some weird bug happens where everyone's tokens disappear and they just unlucky oh man i forgot i didn't have a 360 hertz monitor on this uh game when i was playing so oh. wish i had quick fix why do you ads so fast in this game holy It's so nice to be able to slide cancel, but I got actually pretty used to not being able to. I also really like how sharp the text is on this game. Like the kill feed text looks really, really nice. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more solid though. Can you adjust the opacity on here? They should have an option to adjust the opacity of it. There's been so many crazy clips I've been seeing off of this game. I've been seeing them for years too, but I haven't ran into anything that insane yet. Oh, he's stuck. Honestly, I was expecting a lot more chaos because people were making this game seem completely unplayable. Like everything was broken and just you couldn't do anything about it. The game's ruined. Maybe it's search and destroy that's like super broken or whatever, but I don't really play search, so I don't really care. But I feel like people probably have a lot more incentive to play search and destroy and then hack and do all sorts of crazy shit in search because you get the spotlight repeatedly every single round. Let's look for search and destroy. Surely this isn't a terrible idea. That's what I always see people that play multiplayer do. They just like spam search and destroy and stuff. It's just, it's not fun for me. Me. It's just not. I, I can't even really watch. Well, this guy is definitely not hacking. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, that was dirty, nigga. <laughs> Let's go, bitch. Burn them a little bit. Oh, my God. Burn them a little bit. <laughs> Guy's having the time of his life on an ancient game. Good for him, man. Fuck you, Dan. Alright, so no hackers in there. Nothing crazy. In that game, I had completely legitimate players. Nothing crazy. Now, given maybe my skill-based matchmaking might be a little crazy since I haven't played the game in a while, so maybe it's like... Eh, nah, then again, I feel like it would then probably match me with, like, newer accounts, right? If it worked like that. I don't think anyone's using hacks or anything. Nah, it doesn't look like it. You don't need to move like this. This is it's just, it's not needed. If you were to aim where the people were, you would hit your shots better. Holy shit, people's brains are broken. Yeah, there's no hackers here. That game was completely playable as well. I don't know. People keep saying that the game is unplayable, but it seems pretty playable to me. Seeing like two players that are like level 1000 or whatever, I'm not expecting them to be banned or anything either. So this lobby doesn't look weird either. I don't know if anyone's hacking in here, man. Oh yeah, no. Oh my, ugh. What is this frame rate? Damn, that aim is... Okay. 
Was there always a notification that was saying that they were planning? And no one's hacking in here either. Completely legitimate lobby. I've had like three, four games now where I haven't ran into any hackers. People always make the game seem completely unplayable, but it is nothing like the Black Ops 2 lobbies were. This is a legit game too. No one doing anything, no rage hacking, nothing. Playable. This guy's level 1000. Doesn't look like anyone's doing anything crazy. Oh. This guy's level two. The other dude is just level 43 with three kills. Yeah, one thing I'll say about this game, one thing I've noticed as I've been playing it, the fidelity on this game is not good in comparison to Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 is much more clear. Sometimes the colors and stuff on this game like really mesh into each other. This guy's running around with obsidian kadachis. Away. <laughs> if you would have died to that, it would have been great. Dude, people seem like they're having a good, genuine time on this game. And this is kind of what the game ends up sounding like once uh, players to make the skill-based matchmaking go crazy and make every single game miserable for you yeah. everything just feels wholesome completely healthy game right there no hacking no nothing let's try and look for one more like surely we're gonna run into one of them i expected like if i were to go into shipment i should be able to find like a rage hack well, my original plan that's how i thought that this whole thing would go i would join like a shipment 24 7 playlist maybe do a couple games or something all good and then out of nowhere you know hackers everywhere i think realistically you kind of have to give people a little bit of the benefit of the doubt and just assume that they're probably not hacking on the game that's you know this old or at least not like spending all day you know what i mean because the game isn't popular enough anymore for you to like warrant trying to like ruin people's time like that's really what they want to do find a hacker i want them to be going crazy i'm talking like when i spawn into the lobby flying above the map in god mode spin botting that's what i'm talking about literally unplayable that's what people were making it seem like it is completely playable now does that mean that i'm gonna play the game because of that no definitely still not playing this but Seems completely legit. The game is completely playable. So all those clips and all that other stuff that you guys see going around, the game is completely unplayable. There's hackers everywhere. You spawn in, someone takes control of your controller and makes you delete your account. Like, no, it's really not as common as it. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. It absolutely exists. It's absolutely happening. But like in my experience, what else could we go into? Just like regular hard point? I, I don't even know. 1v1 me bro playlist, like ground war maybe? Hacking in there? Now, I don't know if the anti-cheat in multiplayer works really the same way way that it did in warzone if it's like you know as hyperactive one of the big things that i could have done on this game and wanted to play it more is if uh shipment was on this game yeah, nothing seems too blatant or crazy what are all these yellow dots that are popping up on the screen i'm confused what what is all this these yellow dots that are popping up what are these i've never seen this shit before am i high i don't know what that is maybe it's an item i've just never seen before yeah, i'm so confused but yeah i mean this game it's completely cursed genuinely i don't even this game gives me bad feelings honestly I'm happy to come back you know get the feeling of it it's nice to be able to feel the slide cancel again it's actually fun to move around and stuff like that although people are doing way too much to be honest with you a lot of it genuinely doesn't do anything and this isn't like brand new in terms of like movement you would be able to find some like old montages on like modern warfare 2 where like certain snipers would have this quote play style they would say it's a unique play style when they would like shake their weapon around after they shoot somebody and look left and right for absolutely no reason to just like look like they're more active same thing that people are doing just with movement where they just they overdo everything to the point to where it's actually like at a deficit some trick shotters tried all sorts of ridiculous over-the-top stuff other ones just capped themselves off at like 1080s and 1440s at most other people spun way more than that did insta swaps only like i mean at this point it just seems like it's more performative than actual uh performance so for those of you that are fans of this game and you were like afraid of like you know going back on it for whatever reason thinking that you know it's unplayable and you wouldn't be able to find search and destroys or tdms or whatever no you absolutely can i have played multiple games in a row now not a single hacker not saying that no hackers are on this game i'm sure that they absolutely are i'm also playing in the afternoon so maybe towards nighttime that's when all the you know goblins and shit come out i i don't know but if you guys want some more modern warfare 2019 if you want me to go and play i don't know more search and destroy or something like that let me know down in the comments section and leave a like on this video and uh yeah it's been jeb guys later